Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 55. Today is Thursday, and I am preparing to go out of town for a week to be with the trees in California, the sequoias, and my friends, my dear friends. So, today is going to be the last podcast for a little bit, a week or so, and then I will return refreshed and invigorated with all kinds of new cool things for us to talk about. But today, And today, today, the number of today's episode is number 55, and I couldn't help but just marvel at the perfection of timing, divine timing. Uh, My So Soul Stories videos is at number 33, and the podcast is at number 55, and both of those numbers are angel numbers, which I love. 33 is, for me, the representation of mind, body, spirit which feels so true for the space I hold in those videos. And then 55 to me is the number of transformation of great change. So as I was pondering, what what message do we bring through today when we are sitting in the vibration of 55 and I'm about to go really deeply connect to our planet in a place that is sacred and profoundly beautiful So what message could possibly come through? And of course, (laughs) one is not enough, there are two. So I have two readings that I'm going to be sharing. The first is from the Gene Keys. I mean, of course, (laughs) of course. And the second is a card reading from my Zen Osho Osho deck um, called Going With The Flow. And they tie in so beautifully. So, yeah, sit back and receive this transmission of love and celebration and joy and expansion that is all around us at this time on our planet. Okay, so the first one, the Gene Keys, I've mentioned before in other podcasts. If you are new to the book or new to the podcast, Richard Rudd is the author of the Gene Keys, and I'll put a link in the description so you can go learn more about this book. He describes how each of us as conscious beings, as souls within human bodies, have an activation series in our DNA that we are wired to awaken as that series is unlocked within our bodies, within our energy fields. He also describes how the process of awakening is magical, alchemical, and there's no set time or thing that is going to make it happen. You can't push a button in your body and all of a sudden the sequence gets activated and you're awakened. It isn't that. It's mysterious and ethereal and spiritual and unknown and that's the delight of the journey of waking up. Jinky number 55 in the series of 1 to 64. Jinky number 55 is the... they're all powerful but it's a very powerful gene key that he talks about and there's a long description it's about 25 pages for this chapter so I'm not going to read that to you what I'm going to read is the introduction and it it will give you the vibration of what I know is already happening within humanity and on our planet and it may be the spark that awakens uh, the beginning of your awakening So trust whatever you receive in this reading. You will be guided into what comes next for you. And then simply go with the flow, which is why I will read that card. Okay, so here we go. The 55th Gene Key by Richard Rudd. The Dragonfly's Dream is the title of it. And the cover of this book has a dragonfly on the cover. He talks about the metamorphosis process of a dragonfly. 
and how that is such a beautiful example for humanity as we awaken. So you have to buy the book. You have to read it. (laughs) Then you'll get more information. But I'm going to give you just a little taste of what he describes. 55th Gene Key, The Great Change. Did you know that you have a unique genetic sequence that dictates the unfolding of your true nature? The purpose of this book is, as the title states, to unlock this higher purpose hidden in your DNA. The greater self, the cosmic part of each of us that transcends our mortal body, has lain secretly hidden inside humanity for eons. Because it is inside your body, right under your nose as it were, the mass of humanity has never thought to look in such an obvious place for a lasting sense of peace and fulfillment. Up until now, the inner journey has been for the select few, those bold adventurers and courageous pioneers of the inner plains. Because of this, our true divinity has seemed far away from the common man, whose more immediate concern has been to survive and manage life in the external world. All of this is about to change. (laughs) Insert celebrations, insert (laughs) huge fireworks going off in the sky. (laughs) This is what I know to be true. All right, back to his words. As you travel through the many layers of frequency within this book, you will begin to have an idea of how rich, how beautiful, and how diverse is the journey to awakening. In the myths of all cultures, keys have been left that speak to us about the coming time of the great change. Humanity is feeling this change now because it is taking place now. Within a relatively short evolutionary period, the world we are living in will be transformed into a world that most of us would consider pure fantasy. You are alive at a deeply romantic moment. It is the moment in which the prince kisses Sleeping Beauty, and suddenly she fully awakens. And as she awakens, the world is transformed. This great change is the central theme woven into every single sentence in this book. If you are reading these words, or as I'm reading them to you, hearing these words, (laughs) your inner guidance has seen fit to remind you of this extraordinary prescient, prescient event either to confirm or trigger your own personal process of awakening. Therefore, allow yourself to confirm your own journey, which has brought you to this exact point in time, right now, as you read or hear these words. We human beings are following different vectors through time and space, and each of our paths must at some time converge at this single point deep inside the body. There is a place inside your DNA whose sole purpose is to trigger this awakening. The 55th gene key describes this place. But more than that, it allows you to contemplate and quicken the actual process of awakening. The 55th gene key and its sister transmission, the 22nd gene key, embody the most potent and profound message in this book. The 55th describes the evolutionary force moving from matter to spirit. And the 22nd describes the involutionary force moving from spirit to matter. Together, these two gene keys capture the quintessence of the great change. As you read the words and ideas behind this gene key, allow them to burrow into the deepest recesses inside your being. There are dormant memory codes inside you that are specifically designed to be activated and awakened by this transmission. As you allow it to penetrate, you might like to note the feelings, thoughts, and impulses that stir inside you. Even if you feel resistance to this gene key, that too should be allowed and respected. Awakening is a process with its own mysterious timing and sequence. Therefore, I invite you to breathe deeply, perhaps allowing yourself a deep sigh from time to time. And above all, please enjoy your flight into this wonderful world where romance becomes reality. Welcome to the heart 
of the gene keys transmission. And now you have to buy the book <laughs> so you can read what he says next. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> it would take a long time for me to read you 25 pages, so you're going to have to do it yourself. <sighs> so incredibly beautiful. All right, so what do we do with all of that? When the awakening process begins in each of us, there is this constant surrender to whatever our soul is going to call in next so that the process can simply continue unfolding. So our minds think, I have to do this, I have to follow this step, I have to take this program, I have to run this thing, I, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's the ego, the mind, trying to put a human parameter around a spiritual, soulful, energetic awakening. So what do we do? We go with the flow. So I'm going to read you the card from my Zen Osho deck. It's called Going with the Flow, page 119. When I say become water, I mean become a flow. Don't remain stagnant. Move and move like water. Lao Tzu says the way of the Tao is a watercourse way. It moves like water. What is the movement of water or of a river? The movement has a few beautiful things about it. One, it always moves towards the depth. It always searches for the lowest ground. It is non-ambitious. It never hankers to be the first. It wants to be the last. Remember, Jesus says, those who are the last here will be the first in my kingdom of God. He is talking about the watercourse way of Tao, not mentioning it, but talking about it. Be the last. Be non-ambitious. Ambition means going uphill. Water goes down. It searches for the lowest ground. It wants to be a non-entity. It does not want to declare itself unique, exceptional, extraordinary. It has no ego idea. And then they have a picture of this person just with floating on their back with one arm, the left arm behind the head and the right arm just sort of sitting in the water. And you can see the waves of the water moving around the shape of the person and they're just relaxed. They're just floating. So the commentary on the card says, the figure in this card is completely relaxed and at ease in the water, letting it take him or her where it will. He or she has mastered the art of being passive and receptive without being dull or sleepy. He or she is just available to the currents of life with never a thought of saying, I don't like that, or I prefer to go the other way. Every moment in life, we have a choice whether to enter life's waters and float or to try to swim upstream. When this card appears in a reading, it is an indication that you are able to float now, trusting that life will support you in your relaxation and take you exactly where it wants you to go. Allow this feeling of trust and relaxation to grow more and more. Everything is happening exactly as it should. The process of awakening is a it's an unfolding flow movement that carries you forward. One tiny word or phrase from someone that sparks something that leads you to a conversation with another, that leads you to a book, to a video, to a meditation, to a retreat, to a different part of the world, it simply moves you forward. The process of awakening moves you forward. And so you could resist, you could fight, you could struggle. You're going to spend all of your energy trying to swim upstream. Instead, be curious. Be curious. Be engaged in the process. Be alert and be relaxed all at the same time. And allow the current to simply move you in the direction that your soul knows serves you the best. It is... It is the most delightful, incredible, joyous process, awakening. <sighs> so I will see you on the other side of the trees. 
so much love today. Thank you for tuning in to today's vibration. Let's take this message of pure love out into all of our communities and continue expanding love here on Gaia. So much love from my heart to yours.